What is up amigos? In the last video, we looked at vertical stabilizers. In this video, we're looking at horizontal stabilizers. So we're going through what is a horizontal stabilizer, how it works, and this last point, positive lift versus negative lift. And this is quite an interesting point because horizontal stabilizers don't really work exactly sometimes as you might think. They're quite complicated and we'll go through in this last point why that is. So what is a horizontal stabilizer? Let's say we have a plane, so we're looking down on top of it. We have the regular fuselage like this, just idealized and it comes out to a point here. Then we have the wings, one on each side. Let's say like that, it's a crude drawing. And then in the back, we have the tower section and we have both the horizontal part and the vertical part, which we went through in the last video. If you haven't checked that out, check that out video in this card here. So the tail is made up of these two sections, the vertical stabilizer and the horizontal stabilizers. These are the horizontal stabilizers here. And they're, um, function is to produce a certain amount of force to make the aircraft stable. So let's talk about how this works. If we have a regular aircraft, we have pretty much two sections which produce lift, the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. Now the fuselage itself will produce some lift, but the majority is coming from the wings and the horizontal stabilizers. So let's talk about what happens here. Let's say we have this point here, which is the point at which the aircraft will pivot about. So if we have the aircraft like this, the point is here, it will start pivoting about this point for the pitching up and down. That is very important to understand because if we have the wings here, and let's say combined, they have their lift acting through this point and it's coming out through the page. That means if we have the distance between this point and this point, let's say it's, I don't know, whatever, 10 meters, it means we have a moment arm of 10 meters, and that means we're producing a moment. Anytime we have positive lift, so you're going up, this aircraft will pitch down. So that's that's good. That's generally good for stability. But what if you want to pitch the aircraft nose up? Well, to do that in this general configuration without the horizontal stabilizers, we need to get the wings to produce negative lift, which means that the entire aircraft is going to be sinking down towards the earth. That's not a great idea. We obviously want to keep the aircraft either in level flight or to increase the altitude, or if we want to land then reduce the altitude, but that's only a very small portion of the entire flight envelope. So to result, to have this um, aircraft pitching up, we use the horizontal stabilizers where we can either, if we have lifts being produced on each one of these, we can say we summate them and say it acts through this point here. And the moment arm from the point at which the aircraft pitches about and the resultant lifting force is quite big. So it might be 50 meters here or whatever it is, depending on how big the airplane is. So that means we have a very big moment arm and we only need a small amount of force to be able to counteract any negative pitching that we have. If we want to get the aircraft to pitch up, but these wings are pitching the aircraft down or whatever, we only need to produce a little bit of force here to restore that. So the horizontal stabilizers, if you look at their cross section, if we just cut through, they are effectively are just airfoils. And similarly to the vertical stabilizer, they come in two parts. You have the regular front section, and then about here, you have the back part that can flex around. around. So it will sort of take up this portion of the horizontal stabilizers. And these are called ele uh, elevators. If you pitch them up or down, they will change the effective angle of attack of the wing, and that will change how much lift or downforce you are producing. So what about this positive lift versus negative lift? Coming back to this idea of stability with the aircraft, if we have the point at which the aircraft pitches about is ahead of the center that the lift's resulting force from the wings, then to get this aircraft to nose up, we need to, need to actually produce a negative uh, lift on these L on these um, horizontal stabilizers by pitching the elevators up at an angle. So what we do is we get a resultant downforce. The reason why this works is because if we have the aircraft going this way, it's pitching about this point, the wings, the lift is coming here, so that will naturally pitch the aircraft nose down. So to get that nose back up, we need to get the elevators that, to pitch up that results in a negative force, a downforce, which then restores that moment and puts the aircraft in a nose up moment. So that is where we might want to produce negative lift instead of positive lift. Now, let's talk about another situation where we have the point at which the aircraft rotating is all the way back here now. So it's actually behind the resultant lift vector from the wings. So in this particular case, the wings 
are producing a lift and they're coming, let's say here, then the point at which the aircraft rotates is about here. So anytime we produce lift, positive lift at least, from the wings, that's gonna result in the aircraft nosing up. So if we want to nose this aircraft down a little bit, we then need to produce lift on, positive lift on the horizontal stabilizers by pitching the elevators down and that restores the moment. So we have now a lift this point and we have a certain moment arm and then now pitches the aircraft nose down. So that's why we have positive lift versus negative lift coming into play. And that's why a horizontal stabilizer doesn't really act exactly as we might expect a lot of the time, but it all makes sense once you think about the pitching moments and the distances between the point at which the aircraft pitches about and the resultant lift from the wings and then the resultant lift from the horizontal stabilizers. So that is the end of this video. If you'd like to make sure to like it, if you want to see more like this, click that subscribe button and check out the playlist that we have for other Aero Fundamental videos. And I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.